This is Rosa at Rosa Travels. I want to welcome you today to another tutorial about Calibre, how you can use this software effectively for your ebook publishing. A lot of times, my clients would send ePub books to me to ask me to put in a table of content for them. For example, this ePub book that they have written, it has about 10 chapters. If you take a look at the table of content right now, there's no table of content on the side here. And also, in the body of the book, there are no chapter divisions. This should be chapter 1, and they have not written chapter 1 to this title. And if you keep scrolling down here, you'll find that there's another chapter, but there's no chapter number in front of the title. So you don't really know which chapter this section belongs to. And if you scroll down a little bit more, the Brothers of the Yoke, but there's no chapter number in front of it. So when the reader wants to read this book, it gets quite tiring. If they're not able to navigate the chapters and the table of content, and they have to keep scrolling down the book to look for the place where they have left off. So today I'm going to show you how to put chapters into these titles. We want to put chapters in front of these titles. And also for the table of content, we want the listed chapters on the side here. So the outcome would look something like this, The Secret Trails by Sir Charles Roberts. And you will have all these chapters written on the side here. This is called the toc.ncx where you are able to navigate the chapters inside the ebook. This is chapter 1, you can go to chapter 3, chapter 4, 6, 7, like this, as you read the book. So say if you left off at chapter 7, when you come back to this reader, you don't need to scroll up and down to find your place. You can easily just click on chapter 7 and you can start reading. So today, I will show you how to put these chapters inside the ebook here and also to have the table of content in NCX files so that you can navigate easily on the side. Let's go back to the original book without these chapter numbers. In your Calibre software, there is this icon called Edit Book. So we click on this Edit Book. All right, in the edit panel here, you see three different sections. On the left side, the file browser. It gives you the text and the HTML files to this book. In the middle here, you actually see the codes written in HTML, and we can make changes in here. And whatever changes that we make in here, you see it on the right here, okay? Or if you just scroll down here to anywhere you want, you'll find the HTML coding in the middle section here. Now let's take a look on the left side, text. This is the title page. This is the cover for this book. This book is sectioned off with 14 HTML files. It's number 13 here because this one begins with 000. So the book really begins with index split 001 HTML. This is the first chapter. If we click on 002 HTML, you see a second chapter. 003, this is really not the third chapter because this is not the beginning of a section. It is still chapter 2 because chapter 2 is so long. So they split another HTML file for chapter 2. Chapter 3 begins on 004 HTML. Chapter 4 005 HTML, Chapter 5, 006 HTML. Now, when you click on 007 HTML, this is not a new section, not a new chapter. It still belongs to Chapter 5. They split another HTML file here because Chapter 5 is too long. So, I want to help you to see how this thing works. This one is a new chapter, new section, new section, new section, but not this one because there are no new headings. So this one actually belongs to this chapter here in 010 HTML. This one and this one. So altogether, there are only 10 chapters in this book. So it's not too difficult for us to do. So let's go to chapter one. We're going to edit the middle section here. Whatever we change here, you can preview 
here because this is the file preview section. We can't make changes on this side. So we made all the changes in the middle section here. This is the editing part. So line 10 is where we want to make the change. It says H2 ID equals to the blackboard of lonesome water. So right here, I want to add chapter one for this title, the blackboard of lonesome water. So you see the preview change after I add it in chapter one. It changes right away. So you can see actually what has changed after you edited this middle section. We go into the next file, 002.html, and we come to line 10 again. And this is going to be the chapter 2. Watch over here the file preview as I type because it changes right away. Chapter 2. Okay, chapter 2, the dog that saved the bridge. So you see the change right away on the right side. We come down to 3HTML. There's nothing to change here because this is still chapter 2. Then we come to 004HTML. The calling of the lob horned bull. We see the change comes to here. So we put the cursor here and we're going to type in chapter 3. On the right, you'll see the change chapter 3. 005, this will be chapter 4. We look for this line code here. Type in chapter 4. 6, we come to line 10. We look for this coding and we add in chapter 5, the cabin in the flood. This one has no headings. So now this is chapter 6. We come to line 10 again to this code. Chapter 6. Here, line 10 again. Chapter 7. Okay. Then down here, line 10. Chapter 8. Oops. All right, so this is not too difficult to do if you know how to do the editing. You just need to understand how to read some of these HTML codes. This one, nothing. And this one, we change on line 10 again. Chapter 9. And finally, chapter 10, the morning of the silver frost. All right, now that I've done this, we come to the left side here. We just scroll down to the bottom where it says miscellaneous. We come to TOC NCX. We'll click on this one. And here you see the source code of table of content for this book. So now what we need to do is we need to enter the chapter numbers here again. We just need to read the source code here. It's not too difficult to read. We need to come down to the actual chapter to key in the chapter. Here is the black ball of lonesome water. That was chapter one. So we type in chapter one. Then we keep scrolling down to look for chapter two. Okay, is this one, the doctor saved the bridge. This is chapter two. And if you look at this source code here, text down here, Look, chapter 2 goes with 002.html. The index split is here. So it coincides together. Later on, you'll find that it won't coincide because chapter 2 is quite long. There are actually two HTML files for chapter 2. Okay, we just keep coming down. And we'll be able to find the next one. It's this one. Calling of the Lockhorn Bowl. We type in chapter 3 and here you notice that it goes with the index split 004 HTML. Remember earlier we saw that chapter 2 has two files 002.html and 003.html. So now 004.html belongs to chapter 3. 
which is exactly what this TOC is telling us. Perfect. And we continue going down to the next chapter. And it's a grid. Chapter 4. I'll pause here and add in other chapters myself. All right, we are back here. And let's take a look at Chapter 5. I've keyed in Chapter 5, the cabin in the flood. It goes with index split 6.html. Okay. These two have to sync together. Otherwise, you're going to be navigating the wrong chapters. And we come down here. We have Chapter 6 with 008.html. Perfect. Chapter 7 with 009.html. Chapter 8 with 10.html and then Chapter 9 with 12.html because 11.html belongs to Chapter 8 and finally the last one, Chapter 10, 13.html. These chapters are now synced with the right HTML file. You can come to my GitHub site to download the source code here, .toc.ncx. You just copy this, paste it here, if you don't want to key in the chapter yourself. All right, now that this is done, make sure you save the file. If you don't save the file, all that work will be gone. After we've made the changes, we come back to our EPUB book and let's see what it looks like now. Okay. All right, you see chapter seven, the trailers. Before it just has the trailers, it doesn't have the chapter number in front of it. Let's click on the table of content. Yes, chapter seven, the trailers. So you click on chapter one, the black ball of lonesome water, chapter two, the dog that saved the bridge. So all of these have become clickable table of contents. All these chapter divisions are numbered now. So chapter five, the cabin in the flood. So everything is synced together with the chapter numbers on the side and the table of content. Also inside the EPUB book, it has all these chapters written there also. Okay, that was quite easy, wasn't it? All right, if you have any questions, just ask me and I'll be happy to answer you. This is Rosa. I'll see you in the next video.